Hello everyone and welcome to the Ghost Lairs Report. Me as always, Ryan here in Tokyo. Now, some information is flying around the internet right now. It's getting a lot of attention. And I thought that this was uh, worth taking a, a look at. Now, Mitsu, Mitsuhi Murata. He is a former Japanese ambassador of Switzerland. He has also been involved for several years in the nuclear power issue. Now, this man has lots of connections internationally and also domestically here in Japan. Now, Mr. Murata has claimed that there's been some sinking at reactor number four at the former Fukushima nuclear power plant. Now, the sinking, he claims, is 80 centimeters, which comes to about 31.5 inches, and they say it's sinking unevenly. Now, he says he's got this information from the secretary of the former Prime Minister, Khan. Okay, now, that is really inside information, and of course, you know, you cannot rely on TEPCO or the Japanese government to confirm nor deny that's happening. Now, now he does make a point here. It is true. If you've had some serious sinking, that an earthquake bigger than a magnitude 6 is going to be a big problem, considering that reactor number 4 is severely damaged. If you've seen pictures of it, you know this, right? Now, let's... Look at this for a minute, okay? Now, 31.5 inches of sinking. Is that a big problem? Now, I can compare this to a normal building. If a normal building had 31.5 inches of sinking, under normal conditions, mind you, that wouldn't be a, a huge problem, from what I know, of building constructions. Now, my family has a long background in construction, carpentry, um, coal mining, things like that. So I would grew up around this type of thing and any type of sinking in a building is generally considered to be, you know, just um, the ground evening out. And sometimes that is not even, right? And that depends on um, how much water is in the ground, how moist the soil is, how porous the soil is. Now, let's take a look at that. Now, that relates to the situation at Fukushima nuclear power plant. Now remember, this plant got hit by a massive uh, tsunami. So of course, even at this point, I would imagine the ground is still not exactly stable, and it's right next to the ocean. So for sinking to happen due to the ground being too moist or not stable, I could see that happening, of course. Okay? So there is credence to that, right? But then again, we come to back to the fact, how much sinking is too much sinking? We need to get some more um, comparative evidence, okay, to how much sinking would be a problem. Uh, now, we, again, we do have to take into consideration that how much damage is happening at reactor number four. It's a lot of damage, okay? Extremely damaged building, and they're sinking. Now, I can admit that creates more danger than we already have at this, this nuclear power plant. So him to come out and say this does raise an eyebrow or two. But then again, we need to see how much sinking is much, too much, right? I just want to make this video, get that point out there, because this is flying around the internet right now. And there's not a lot of evidence to back this up. Um, but this man is well respected. A lot of things he said in the past have been absolutely true. Um, he's made many claims about different things, and they've been all scientifically proven to be right. Especially when he was, he was a while back in a video when I mentioned this guy earlier, he was talking about the dangers of the fuel rods in the um, reactors, and that turned out to be completely true. It's an extremely dangerous situation. Uh, and TEPCO has finally started removing some of the fuel rods, which brings up another issue, or where they're going to put all that stuff, right? So guys, we need your help a little bit here. Um, to kind of confirm this a little bit more. We're going to need some more research. We're going to need everyone to come together and research just a bit more on um, ground sinking, okay, and how that affects buildings and how much could create a big problem. We also need more reports on how much damage exactly Reactor 4 has been through 
we need to see exactly where the damage is and where sinking would be the biggest problem on that building all right so let's do some more research on this before we run with it all right so again this is me ryan here coming to you in tokyo japan until next time checking out